What's up, what's up, people? people? We're kicking it off, or rather, shaking it off from the weekend. I'm K E Y A. And I'm Diana. And this is your favorite show. What's, what's hot? Swifters, this one is for you. Taylor Swift bags another Grammy at the 2024 awards. Now, the pop star bags the category for album of the year. On to enemies of progress, we are neither drunk in love nor are we having some deja vu as Jay-Z has something to say. Jay-Z stood on business and called out the Grammys for not recognizing his wife as he termed her the young lady Beyonce because she has won most of the Grammys as a solo artist and yet she has never bagged any album of the year. Clearly, the math is not mathing. Wow. We is the beehive, we are disappointed, and we are proud of our boy, Jay-Z. Well, it looks like Diana has got some feelings for the four hit maker. <laughs> but what's your take on this story? Moving on, the Kenyan film industry is in mourning. Legendary actor Charles Holder is dead. The 38 years old actor has majored in different major films like the Mafutano Junction, uh, Salem, Crime and Justice, and The Second Family. The actor was engaged to Shiro Moriyuki, media personality, rather Shiro Moriyuki, our condolences to the family. We've lost a very big charm, was unhearted with an actor. I'm heartbroken. Still on third news, comedian Nikki Big Fish has lost his father. The comedian shared the sad news on his social media. Media. We send our love and condolences to the family. And the big one for Africa, a very popular music genre, Afrobeat, has been added as a category in the Grammy Awards. During the 66th edition of the Grammy Awards, a Bono boy pulled a very electrifying performance with the famous Aaron Bista, Brandy, and the the biggest rappers we have, 21 Savage. As an African, tell us what you feel about this in the comment section below. Still on the Grammys, what a hit maker Tyler won a Grammy for the best African music performance. In her own words, I never thought I'd say I won a Grammy at 22. The African babe was competing against African giants like Bunny Boy and Davido. Oh, she won. She won. Girl power. Winding up, Kasipul has got our back. Kasipul advocates that we Kenyans do know how to brand ourselves. When on a chopper trip to Nakuru, he's clearly emphasized that we Kenyans are a brand. Atimamaselewe <laughs> he was clapping back at Tanzania's Mr. J, who stated that Kenyan celebrities do not know how to brand themselves. What do you think about this story? Is Kasipul right? Tell us what you think in the comment section below. I'm Cohen de Kazi. <laughs> That's it for what's hot guys. I'm K E Y A. And I'm Diana. See you when you see me. Enjoy your week.